Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how, how to solve a word problem involving the volume of rectangle prisms. So we're going to do one problem together, and then you have a chance to try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright? So here's the first problem. It says a rectangular in-ground pool is 45 feet long, 16 feet wide, and 4 feet deep. How many cubic feet of water does the pool hold? Okay? So really what they're asking is what's the volume of the pool so anytime you have a chance to draw a diagram I highly, highly recommend it so let's draw kind of a diagram of the pool so we know that the pool is 45 feet long and 16 feet wide so it's going to be longer than it's wide so we know this is 45 feet and this is 16 feet but now we need to have the depth of 4 feet so again, the way I recommend you draw uh, rectangular prisms is that you draw another rectangle, the same shape, but overlap the first one. And then you connect the corners like this. That gives it kind of a 3D depth to it. And we know that this is four feet deep. All right, so now that we have the, uh, the diagram, let's write down the formula. So we know to find the volume of the pool, volume is gonna be length, times width, times height, and let's plug in the values. So volume is gonna be 45 by 16 by four. And when I do 45 times 16 times four, I get 2,880. So the volume of the pool is 2,880, and this is gonna be cubic feet of water. So that's the capacity of the pool. And there it is. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problem now. And when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do this practice problem. So for this problem, you, you had to determine which recycling bin holds more trash or basically which one has a greater volume. So let's find the volume of both recycling bins. So again, volume equals length times width times height. I'm gonna write that down for both. So volume equals length times width times height. And now it's just a matter of plugging in the values. So this is gonna be two times three times four. And two times three is six. Six times four is 24. So the volume of the first bin is 24 cubic feet. And then this one, I'm going to plug in a 3, and a 4, and a 6, and 3 times 4 is 12, 12 times 6 is 72, so the volume of this one is 72 cubic feet. So the second bin is much larger than the first bin, and that's our answer. Alright, how'd you do?